Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Windows Long Bridge. Now from what I was able to tell from the archive.org page is that Windows Long Bridge is an ISO that really aims to take the latest version of Windows 10 and make it look like Windows Longhorn. This is a very unique project that I'm very excited to be taking a look at today. So let's go ahead and boot into the ISO. That is not booting. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. For some reason when I set up the VM, it didn't actually pick the CD that I wanted. But here we go. We are now installing, or well, booting into the installer rather, for Windows Long Bridge. For those of you who don't know, Windows Longhorn was the release between Windows XP and Windows Vista that was ultimately one of the longest periods of development in Microsoft history. Windows Longhorn went several different looks, several different builds, and that's how we ended up with the current day Windows Vista. So let's go ahead and continue. Install now. Again, remember this is Windows 10 shaped to look like Windows Longhorn. So we don't have product key because we're just installing for about an hour. So we're going to go ahead and skip that screen, accept the terms, next, custom, and then select 60 gig. And here we go. We are now installing Windows Long Bridge. All right, and here we are in the desktop of Windows Long Bridge. The only thing I've went ahead and done is I've installed VMware Tools, which I don't even know where it went in the system tray. It is like not even down here. But here we are. So let's take a look. I like this background. It's like a bluish, purplish hue. I really do like that. Um, up in the top right, it says Microsoft Windows Copyright 1985 to 2002, Copyright Microsoft Corporation. So again, we're looking at around probably a 2002 build of Windows Longhorn. Over here on this side, we have our recycle bin, which took a while to open, but looks pretty cool. We'll get a look into that in a little bit. We have buildinfo.txt. So this is Windows Long Bridge 2.0.0. Warning, do not run any kind of SFC repair command because that breaks the mod. Very interesting. SFC repair breaks the entire OS. Um, you can pause the video and read through this if you'd like. Nothing too out of the ordinary or strange here. Let's go ahead and go into my computer now where we can see again, we see this kind of revamped file explorer. We'll get into that in just a minute. But if we go to my computer, first of all, I notice, look at these animations. This one flies over from the left side, and when I click out of it, it kind of like flaps away into the background. That's pretty cool, but it's interesting. We then have Internet Explorer, which I'm going to take a guess, and it's Firefox themed to be IE. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, this is definitely Firefox. I have no doubt in my head. Um, I noticed that Firefox can be themed a lot. Yeah. Um, they like to theme Firefox to look like older browsers, whether it's Chrome or whether it's IE, they do like that. Next we have Longbridge Extras, which is, let's see, um, just like the typical folder that we see in mods, arrow glass colors, user account pictures, arrow glass settings, boot screens, original Plex demo, blah blah blah, all sorts of stuff. Let's close that and move over to Explorer++, which does appear to be another version of, of File Explorer that is not set by default, but probably grants you some extra features. I personally don't like this view, so we're gonna close out of that. We have the Start Longhorn Sidebar, which I'm assuming, yep, that is the sidebar that runs on the desktop that we can go ahead and move over and add widgets to. So I can go, well, I didn't mean to minimize it, but um, first of all, it's in Celsius, so I look at Fahrenheit, but okay. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary there, typical sidebar. We then have the Longhorn Theme Changer, which appears to let you change some different themes, look at some different things. We're not going to change anything. This does appear to be custom, so again, nothing too crazy there. Then we have Discord Messenger, which is like a, it looks like a custom Discord mod client. Those is a good way to get hacked. Let's go to the start menu here, which we saw was using Classic Shell, I believe. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, we have Internet, Email, My Computer, Longhorn Theme Changer, Sidebar, Driver Installer, Games Explorer, Explorer++, Notepad, Meeting Space, System Info, Ultimate Extras, Snipping Tool, Command Prompt, Movie Maker, DVD Maker. Um, again, nothing too out of the ordinary there. We have this nice purplish white background. Go to all programs, we can see that, yep, typical programs, games, we have all sorts of different games pre-installed, including we have Purple Place, which if you've watched this video at all, you all know that is my favorite game from the back in the day when I had a Vista computer. Scrolling down, we can see we have Vista Login Orb, 
so I'm assuming yeah you can change some different things here animation startup sound uh, lock sounds all sorts of different sounds that you can pick for login I love the level of customization that is here in this ISO let's go back in here we can go into computer properties and let's see what what it reports now just keep in mind this is Windows 10 running in the background we're not running Windows Longhorn or any older version this is a modern version of Windows 10 so right clicking a computer that didn't actually do anything so let's run Winver and see yeah it's gonna report Windows Longhorn professional it customized this to look exactly like it would back in 2005 or 2002 nothing too crazy let's go ahead and take a look at this file explorer that we keep looking at so over here on the left side we can see we have our typical folders not too crazy at the top here we have a nice vista themed bar we can see that these rays are actually moving which is very cool um, and then down here we have our hard disk drives and our drives with movable storage the one thing I noticed that I found was really interesting was the fact that our ISO was actually 7 gigabytes. This is one of the biggest Windows ISOs I've ever taken a look at on this channel, which is insane to think that this ISO is 7 gigs. When it's mounted though, it only shows it 6.68, but that's probably because some sort of compression something, I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at, actually while we're here, let's look at how much disk space this is using. So we are currently using 15.5 gigs out of a 59.8 gig disk, meaning we have 44.3 gigs free. Not too bad, but not exactly great. Let's go ahead and look at Task Manager and see what kind of specs we're using. So CPU utilization, we saw that we were spiked at 100%, which again, Windows likes to fluctuate, but this is idling at about 50%, which isn't very good. As for memory, we have 8 gigs of RAM in this VM. We're using 1.61 just idling. Although it looks like we're probably still trying to load that computer or that my computer about screwed that doesn't appear to be working and appears to be totally breaking the taskbar. So it is a little glitchy, but not as glitchy as some other uh, custom versions that we've seen. So that being said, this is a brief overview of Windows Long Bridge. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you think of this ISO and if there's any other ISOs that you want me to take a look at. I love doing viewer recommended ISOs. This was even one of them I found in the comment section. Definitely let me know down in the comments. Drop a like if you like this video and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.